name's Liz, I'm the baker that sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. As always, it's really lovely to have you here as I share my sewing journey. So welcome back to my channel. Today is my turn to share my plans for the Sew Up Cycle 22 challenge, which is currently being run throughout the month of October. So I'm gonna go into detail about the challenge. Um, I've got a few things to share with you and I've got a couple of ideas for myself and I'd really love your help and suggestions as well. Before I dive into all of that, I'll let you know what I'm wearing. And I am wearing one of my relatively new makes, which is the Tilly and the Buttons Marnie dress, made in this gorgeous cloud fabric. Can't remember where I got this from, but I'll link it down below if they've got any left. I love the Marnie. It's got these gorgeous ruffles down the front. It's gathered. There's panels, so there's side panels. It's really lovely and floaty and loose fitting. Um, and then it fastens at the back with a button and a rouleau loop. Um, I'll put pictures in of me wearing this dress so you can see what it looks like on me. Um, but it's really comfortable and I've just got it on with a pair of navy tights today. So today's video is going to be all about the Sew Up Cycle 22 challenge, which is currently running throughout the month of October. So there's a couple of hashtags which I'll talk about, but it's being run by the lovely Becky, who is Notes from the Sewing Room, and the lovely Karen, who is So Little Time. I'll link both of their channels down below so you can go and check them out. There's been lots of vloggers throughout the month of October already sharing their ideas and suggestions for the Sew Up Cycle Challenge. Do make sure you go and check out all of the vloggers that are taking part in the challenge and sharing lots of suggestions um, of how we're going to upcycle various things. It's really inspiring. So the challenge is being run, like I said, by Becky and Karen throughout the month of October. The reveal date is the 31st of October. But if you do want to reveal any sneaky peeks or your whip, your work in progress, then there is a hashtag which is hashtag SewUpCycle22 Whip. I think I've said that correctly. Yes, SewUpCycle22 Whip. And that's for sneak peeks throughout the month of October. So there are a couple of rules. Um, you need to make an upcycled garment um, use something that other than brand new fabric that you've bought. Um, you need to make sure that you include a before photo of whatever whatever it is that you used to upcycle. The reveal date is the 31st of October and you need to make sure you tag Becky and Karen. You need to make a garment either for yourself or someone else and they're requesting that we don't sew anything for pets this time round. Um, suggested things that you can use, tablecloth, bedspread, um, unworn make or ready to wear garment from your wardrobe or you can raid somebody else's wardrobe which is the fun part um, and then any sneaky peeks use that hashtag that I said that ends in whip and then on the 31st of October we need to reveal our upcycled garment do make sure on the 31st of October when you share your upcycled garment that you share a photo also of the original garment or the original fabric. Um, we need to see what your upcycled thing looked like prior to being upcycled. I'm really excited. I've got three different things to share with you today. So I've got a skirt that I bought from the charity shop ages ago. I've got a skirt from my own wardrobe, which I just don't reach for. And then I've also got a duvet um, sort of cover, which I'm really excited about because duvet covers are a brilliant way of getting loads and loads of fabric for not a huge amount of money. So I think I'll start with the skirt from the charity shop because I think this is quite a straightforward upcycle. I think I know 95% sure of what I'm going to turn this into, but I got this from the charity shop. It is originally a Bowden skirt. And it's in this gorgeous green fabric. I love the colour green. It's my favourite colour. And it's polka dots, which is unusual for me. I don't have a huge amount of polka dots in my wardrobe. Um, it's a skirt that goes beyond the knee. So I think oh, it's like a midi length skirt. So there's actually quite a lot of fabric there. You can see it's lovely and drapey. Um, really lovely. It has got pockets already. As a skirt, it doesn't fit me, it's too big. And I don't think I'm gonna keep it as a skirt. I think what I was thinking of doing, I'm just looking for the label to see what the fabric is. Oh, it's 95% viscose, 5% elastane. And it's got a really lovely drape to it. The polka dots are navy. I don't know if they're coming up navy on camera. Um, but I've got quite a lot of fabric here and I'm what I'm thinking of doing is using it to turn it into a jumper or a top. So there's a couple of patterns that I really love wearing as jumpers or tops. I think this would make a really lovely drapey jumper or top. And the pattern that I'm thinking of using is the Tilly and the Buttons 
billy top so it's a sweater dress or a sweater jumper and um, it's got really lovely balloon sleeves that are gathered into a cuff and i think this would drape so beautifully i'm hoping i'll have enough fabric to be able to turn it into the billy jumper if I don't, then I was also thinking of using it to turn into the Nina Lee Southbank sweater. I think that's my favourite jumper pattern. Um, it's a lovely drapey fabric and I think that would work really nicely for either of those jumper patterns. So I'm pretty much decided what I'm going to turn that fabric into. I just really love that colour. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, polka dots, I don't have a huge amount of polka dots in my wardrobe. The next um thing that i wanted to share with you for upcycling is a skirt from my wardrobe so i made this i think i must have done made this over a year ago with summer in mind and it's a linen fabric i think it might have been a viscose linen actually that i got from Sumi sunshine and i think i got a remnant piece so i didn't have a huge amount of fabric to play around with but i ended up turning it into a really gathered you can see how gathered that fabric is um not quite a mini skirt it stops at my knee but there's a huge amount of fabric really there i think i must have had less than a meter and maybe that's why i went for a gathered skirt um but i don't reach for it i think it's too gathered you can see there's a lot of fabric at the front there's a lot of fabric at the back i just don't reach for it at all so what i was thinking of doing was turning it into a top but i do think i've got less than a meter there so i'd have to think really carefully about what top pattern I would be able to turn this into alternatively i think i could turn it into some really cute shorts um it's a viscose linen so it's got a really lovely amount of swish and drape and it is a very very wide when i stretch it you can see i've got a lot of fabric there to be playing around with but you can see if i hold it up on me yeah it stops at my knee and it's just so gathered that I just don't I don't reach for it and I don't tend to wear skirts that are that length either um so I think I've worn it maybe twice since I made it so I'd really love your suggestions I've just got a tape measure and measured it and I've got half a meter um but it is very very wide fabric so I have got quite a lot of fabric to play around with so my original thoughts were a top or a pair of shorts um so please let me know in the comments below it's viscose linen it's on a baby blue background and it's got all these gorgeous flowers all over it so i would really love to breathe some new life into that fabric because i really don't reach for it and i remember thinking how pretty that fabric was so it's a shame that it's just sat in my wardrobe so that was a garment from my wardrobe that i don't wear and then the final um, thing that I've got to upcycle, I'd really love your help with this because I haven't a clue what to turn it into, but it is a bedspread. So it's a duvet. It's a king size duvet, which means I've got a huge amount of fabric to play around with. Um, and it's green. It's got these gorgeous leaves all over it. And then it's got like a geometric almost um, sort of pink and white background. I'm going to have to stand up to show you uh, what it looks like. It is a, I have to find the label to find out what type of fabric it is. It's a very lightweight fabric. Um, I really love this um, design. I picked this up in the charity shop. I think it was like five pounds or something. Um, and I've only got the bedspread. The um, pillowcases weren't included. I think that's why it was only a fiver. It's got a lovely amount of drape. It feels really lovely and soft. Now it's a different design on the other side. So on the other side, it's white. And then I've got all of these sort of leaf shapes all over it. I don't think I would use this side um, for a garment that I would wear out. Maybe I would keep this fabric as a lining for something, maybe for a coat. Um, but I'm definitely going to use this side for something. I've had a couple of ideas. Um, maybe turning it into some kind of dress. I think this would work really nicely with maybe a fitted bodice and then a really gathered skirt. Or I thought maybe just a gathered skirt. So there's the Alice Irvine flat fronted skirt pattern, which I'm really enjoying sewing up at the moment. And this would work really nicely. Um, I think because of the sort of pale pink background and then that leaf print, I feel like that leaf print needs to be really showcased. Um, so I'd really love your suggestions on what I could turn the front part of the bedspread into and then what should I do with this side as well because I really don't know uh, what to turn that into. Um, I haven't really got any inspiration for this side. I think this side because it's so white um, and really light I think that would have to be a lining for something. 
uh, but this side I could see it being turned into something that I can wear out of the house and I think it'd be a really fun garment and um, some of those leaves are really large scale if I put my hand there you can see they're really large scale so it'd be really great to showcase um, that leaf print design that I've got all over it and I've got a huge amount of fabric because it's a king size duvet. Um, recently in the last sort of couple of months I have really enjoyed upcycling things from my wardrobe um, so this challenge is perfect to continue that. So I had a dress, well I had two dresses actually, no three dresses that I shared recently that didn't fit me and I just didn't wear them because they didn't fit me anymore. I um, managed to upcycle two of them and turn them into skirts. So I'll put pictures in now so you can see what they look like. And then the other one, I managed to get my hands on some of the fabric that the dress was made out of because the bodice didn't fit anymore. And that meant I was able to take off the bodice and recut it so now it fits me and I get loads and loads of wear. Well, I will do when the weather's lovely and warm because it's a sundress. But it means that I will get lots and lots of wear out of that dress now. And then I shared this fabric. This was a dress. I think it was the Sir so It Leah dress. I think I'm saying that pattern correctly. Um, and I absolutely loved this watermelon fabric. It's like, a, I want to say like a seersucker. I'm not sure if it was, or maybe it was just a crepe actually. It's got that texture to it. And it's got those tiny, tiny little lines running through it as well with the more watermelon slices. So it was a dress that didn't fit me anymore. The bodice was really um, sort of pulling where the buttons were. So I chopped off the bodice and couldn't really salvage that because it had lots and lots of panels. And then I um, have tried to turn this into a skirt. I've talked about this on my channel before. So I've got this really cute little skirt here. This would mean that it's a sort of a skirt that stops at my knee. And the way that the skirt is panelled, you get this really lovely sort of shape to it. But I just don't think, as a skirt, I don't think I would wear it still. Um, so I'm a little bit stuck about where to go with this because as you can see, the skirt is really heavily panelled and um, because that was just the design of the dress. And although that creates a really lovely, whoops, that creates a really lovely shape, I just don't think I would wear it because I don't like that length of skirt on me. Um, so if anyone's got any suggestions on what to do, I had some suggestions to um, attach um, sort of some jersey fabric, almost like a yoga band. But I still don't think I would wear it, even if I attached a yoga band, because I just don't like the length of the skirt on me. So I don't know whether to cut along one of the seams, like I've got here, just cut that so I end up with a really long strip of fabric and then see if I can turn it into something like a top or maybe some shorts. Um, this fabric from memory was quite see-through, so I did have to wear a slip when I did wear that dress. So that's something that I also need to consider. Or do I just turn it into something like a bag or something that's not necessarily something that I wear. Um, I wouldn't be able to do that for this challenge because it needs to be a garment. Um, but I have really enjoyed upcycling various things in my wardrobe. So this is one that's sort of half finished and I've just lost inspiration for it. So if anyone's got any suggestions on how I can salvage this, what I could turn it into, please do let me know. So those are some of my ideas. I think the dotty jersey fabric, I'm definitely gonna turn that into a jumper. The bedspread dress or skirt, I think. This one, I think possibly a top or some shorts. And then this one, I'm really not sure how to go about rescuing that. So I'd really love your input. I hope you've enjoyed hearing some of my plans for the Sew Upcycle 22 Challenge. Um, I've been really enjoying watching the vlogs so far. So I'm feeling really inspired to have a go at upcycling more things from my wardrobe. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really love it if you could hit that subscribe button. And I'm really excited to see what everybody um, creates for the Sew Upcycle Challenge. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.